Good afternoon. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin I'm doing? And you happy too? How y'all living, fam? It is Monday up in this motherfucker, and it doesn't feel like a Monday. I don't know why. I feel so off right now. But your girl is out here just running a couple errands, y'all. And all morning I have been, uh, I've been on calls and uh, just taking care of some business at home and emails and all whatever you could possibly imagine. And um, anyway, first opportunity that I've had to kind of get out and really get to doing some things. Uh, I had to stop by the bank. I got to stop by um, another place here shortly. Then I'm going to go to Wally World and just get a couple things done. But I'm here at the pet store, okay? And uh, anyway, look at these dogs. They're so cute. I, you know, I always like walking by these things. They have like the little, um, <laughs> look at the little guys. They're like, it's like little pet, you know, pet training classes and doggy daycare. It might have been a little blurry because I kind of did that kind of quick. Anyway, came here to get some dog food for the dogs. I think Desi and Gizmo have two completely different tastes in food. Um, two completely different tastes in food. So I'm going to, I just, I, uh, and it's probably my fault because um, every now and again I'll switch their food. Um, not intentionally, they'll, you know, I wouldn't have had a chance to come by here or whatever the case. I just need to make sure that I'm sticking to the food. And I did that to my, uh, to Chewy every now and again, but he liked, he liked it, almost everything, you know, because he just loved to eat for the most part. So anyway, um, I am going to go ahead and get the usual stuff. Yeah, I'm like when things aren't on sale, Look, full price like a motherfucker, what the fuck? Um, and um, anyway, yeah, Desi seems to be a little pickier, so we are going to um, just get what we normally get and see how that goes. This is our usual. We usually get the uh, Purina Pro Plan or we get Science Diet. You guys know that Science Diet up there, so it's either that or Science Diet. I did my recap of the BT Awards, y'all. If you guys have not checked it out, I'll link it, I'll link it down below. It's on the other channel, the Beauty Fashion Channel, Lifestyle Channel, whatever. And y'all, I was up till, well, I... You know the awards ended late and then once the awards were done because i was recapping it while I, like i you know like i nor normally do my other videos i was recapping it while i was watching so it got done late finally she finished my recap then i had to import the files i did it all late last night and then um imported the files did the video you know edited the video okay had to wait for it to process so i fell asleep it was like 1 30 in the morning when i did that fell asleep subconsciously woke up in the middle of the night I don't know why and got up and just finished it uploaded it and got it done so needless to say I got no sleep last night not rested sleep not good sleep so I'm a little sleepy today but um, I'm trying to keep myself up so I can just knock out hard tonight going to the gym tonight with juice probably not going to do too strenuous of a workout because I'm not really um, I'm not all the way together like I'm sleepy as fuck for real I'm tired I'm gonna go ahead and pay for this and get the fuck out of here next up long road came me to get a couple things y'all y'all know when I come up in here I have a tendency to go a little in and I'm not trying to do that this time it's just too easy to do that especially when you see really good deals and uh, the one thing that oh that is oh they're out of the one I see y'all know I'm obsessed with this cooking spray or not cooking spray but the fake butter this one is extra virgin olive oil butter I've never tried this one but it's 50% more anyway we religiously use these Big time, so we're pretty much ransacked in here. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna get those and see how they work because I need them badly. And then I need to get some dishwashing detergent. And people are looking at me so fucking funny. They're like, like no, no, I'd be cracking up when I see people look at me funny. Okay, random, real quick. I'm in the aisle, right? And I'm looking at Star and I'm looking at In Touch, and they're both recording the same thing about Kendra. I don't know if you remember the Playboy. Daddy. Playmate, okay? They're saying that Hank had an affair with a transsexual, and that's why they're getting a divorce. Did y'all hear that? I mean, I know, I don't know, she's not really in the news much, but you know, they had a reality show for like two years in a row. I used to watch it all the time, and um, I thought that was interesting. The, their dynamic was interesting to me. But take a look, it says, Kendra, divorced transsexual, tells all my affair with Hank while Kendra was pregnant. This one says the same damn thing, it says the same thing. So I'm just wondering, like, I'm wondering if there's any more, if there's anything in any other magazines that say that same thing, but anyway, look. I mean, I know a lot of them report similar things, but this, I mean, they don't always both report the exact same thing. So, have y'all heard that? Do y'all think Hank's gay? 
or or not? Okay. Anyway, sorry, I'm just curious. Yeah, ended up getting more than I wanted, but all that I needed, so that's good. And then I ended up putting a couple things back that I didn't need. So I'm good at least for this week because I'm trying to get ready essentially for the weekend. Turns out that we are going to be hanging out with, you already know, uh, Jonathan and Bambi more than likely this weekend for the 4th of July. Um, planning on just getting out and doing something. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but um, I hate outdoors. Um, unless I'm at a beach by the pool or something of that nature. Y'all know I don't like the ocean either. But I really don't like to be outside when it's really hot outside. So, it's supposed to be 81 that day, which is still kind of hot, but it's better than what it is today, which is like 100 above, 100, it's fucking hot as hell outside. Anyway, so I'm hoping it stays, or I'm hoping it's gonna cool off by the weekend, we'll see. Either way, we're supposed to hang out with them on Friday, on the actual 4th of July, with Laren, and we're just gonna all get together and do something, barbecue or whatever. We may go to the fair, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys are doing in St. Louis, if there's anything going on this weekend, so let me pay. What's up, y'all? Hold on, let me see if I'm recording. I am. We are in the gym, y'all. Y'all haven't seen us this dedicated in a minute, huh? Like on some like, both of us being dedicated at the same damn time. So your boy is here. He looks like, I swear, he, he, he he's wearing a different shirt. Like what? Every time I shoot you here in the gym, you're wearing that gray shirt or oh, a really? gray shirt. Yeah, like every time. There's different variations of my gray shirt, you know. Yeah, you have several. Y'all should know by now, he loves grays and black, like at the gym. So you'll see that a lot. I just realized, I'm like, every time I shoot you, you've been gray. Yeah, it's more, you know, I mean, he don't have just one shirt, y'all. If you shave gray every day, y'all. He's stupid. <laughs> Plus, it's not like we have a shit ton of workout clothes. We do wash our clothes a whole hell of a lot, seriously. Like, y'all don't see me in a lot of variety, which has to change. I'm actually gonna bring, uh, be brought, buying some new workout gear sometime in the next couple weeks. I'm waiting for a good sale. But I'd rather like get clothes for my trip because that's what I'm mostly looking forward to. So, okay. so yeah, we're here warming up. How was your day, my love? Babe. <laughs> Stupid, trying to show up. How was your day? Huh? How was your day? Quiet. That's yeah. good. I'm a lady back day today. As long as you're staying out of trouble, I'm good. Everybody getting ready for the holidays, so. Yeah. Not too much going on. Mm-hmm. So yeah, y'all. Quick workout of the day is what's going on today. It is now literally 10 to 8. Hey, yeah. Getting late. I know. Super late. Last time we were here at like 8.30, so I guess we're just gonna be late, late going to the gym most of the time. Because when he gets home, he likes to chill. We lay on the couch, we catch up, find out about how each other's day what you know was. We usually have a snack. And that's when we come in here. That's why we kind of cut the carbs out at night. If it gets to be too late, which today is gonna to be one of those days. I have a workout, bam, that I got from Oxygen Magazine. And it is a workout specific to someone who doesn't have a lot of time in the gym. And it's an upper body workout that involves all supersets, meaning back-to-back -back workout, back-to-back -back exercises with little to no rest in between the sets. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. So I'm only gonna be on this tread for 10 minutes just to warm up. And uh, then I'm gonna do the supersets, come back, and probably, hopefully, do some sprints at the very end, just to kind of get their juices flowing. And uh, I am actually wearing my corset today because I wanted to see how it would feel to have a corset on while working out. This is not a working out corset. Um, although there are people that do work out in their corset, in this particular kind of corset, um, which is more than likely what I'm gonna be doing with my corsets. I plan on also getting a corset from one of my girls here on the YT. When that happens, I will let you know because she actually sells corsets that are meant for working out in them. So I will let you guys know how that all goes and when I get it and how it goes and show you what it looks like and all that. I'm definitely gonna be doing a review on all of this. And um, so far I like it. It makes you feel good posture-wise too. So I'll keep you posted anyway. I'll go ahead and warm up and uh, hopefully we can shoot some of what we're doing today. But it's hard when we have one camera, so you know we try to keep it on the DL here. Although people are used to us pulling the camera out, but you know some of these guys are assholes in here about that. And we don't want to get kicked out or shut down, so we try to be discreet and low low. Did you text? Oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you uh, hit up Jess? Now we gotta call her tonight. It's gonna be late, you better. Yeah, but I'll text when I get to the real, okay? Yeah, we're going back and forth. Yeah. Oh, appreciate Thank it. You so much. Right on, right on. Oh, man. It's so necessary. Back here at our favorite spot, y'all. For the after workout dessert. Sandy over there working out with the, with the Beast headphones on, her hair and, her hair and twist. She got a scarf around her head, a backpack, a purse. I don't know what the hell we doing. She got a protein drink. What I do know. She got a cord to her headphones. Mm -hmm. Chewing gum. <laughs> I, I gotta look good. I'm supposed to technically How much stuff do you, need, do you need at the gym? I know. What? I always carry yeah. my camera, yeah. my phone, then my gloves, and then Jesus I have my Christ. head beads. I don't even have a wrist thing. I mean, an armband for my iPad pod, whatever. I always want to say iPad. My iPod because it's so old. Oh. So I need to get like the original nano case to put on your arm. I just don't have one. I need to get one. Because I, I stick it in, in here. And y'all wonder who be carrying all them bags on the trips we go on. Mm. It ain't me, all I got is this. Get the hell out of here. So, you do the math, all right? Hey, we better get home and take the dogs out. Shit, I forgot about them guys. Mm -hmm. Gotta go. What's up, y'all? Uh, trying to figure out. There we go. Um, I don't know if I'm, hold on, I don't even know if I'm focused. I am, I think. Anyway. Pardon the TV, it's loud as hell right now. And um, I am trying to figure out what to um, serve my man for dinner. Of course, he wants rotisserie, so that's what we're gonna have. But I'm trying to figure out the side for Din Din. Uh, I bought, like y'all saw, for a lot of rotisseries. We're playing like, at least four for rotisseries. So we're gonna be eating rotisserie for the next, today and probably tomorrow, and maybe the next day. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna make some broccoli. I got some that fake ass butter at the stove. So that's probably what I'm going to make along with it. And since it is past nine o'clock at this point, guys, I know we go to the we go to the um, gym hella late, but lately he has been just, you know, we've been just, you know, when he comes home from work, we just sit, we relax, we shoot the breeze, we discuss, you know, how um, work's been, you know, how your day went, you know, and. He has his, um, his Greek yogurt. I usually have a shake or I'll have my banana or something right before we go to the gym and then we get to the gym hella late. So we're trying to get better with that. But um, anyway, the good thing is, is that we always make sure that we don't overindulge on the carbs. So I'm gonna make the broccoli tonight. And the other wonderful thing is that we have really, 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 really stuck to our, you know, our plan to just really try to keep it healthy. And I'm really proud of Juice because Ever since Tough Mudder, he has stayed on his game. Like, y'all see him, he in the gym, you know? And before it was impossible for me to get him to just be in the gym, period. You know what I mean? Like, he'll be, he'd be in the gym, but you know, he'd be ready to leave, and you know, and I just wanna do a short workout and, and that type of thing. And now he is like, really like, I don't wanna lose what I, you know, did working out for the Tough Mudder, so. That's been really cool because we're both really motivated and it helps that we're going out of town for our anniversary. So it's kind of one of those things where you're just like really even more motivated to like stay in shape and stuff. I think I hear my husband. Hey babe. Yeah. You mind opening this for me, honey bunny? Oh, love of mine. I, What's this? I have like funky nails. It's my butter? Damn. The different kind of butter. You ain't got no scissors or nothing? I, mean, I don't know what the fuck they are, man. I don't have any nails. Nigga, I'm counting on you, my nigga. I have any nails? Well, my nails are hella short. I'm not used to them still, which is really funny. Oops, oh, open. Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> After all that shit talking. Yeah. Hey, I got great news, y'all. What's up? Check it out. Uh oh. Bam. Bam. Let's clear it up. Hey. Although, look what it did to it his skin. It left a scar. It's a poison ivy does, but. I mean, it'll dissipate. You just gotta make sure to put cocoa butter on it. And yeah, right now, it. I'm gonna, I'm about to apply my butter on there. So, hey, it's cleared up. I'm happy. I'm gonna put this shit on here for the next two or three weeks. And, uh. I also have some stuff from Shea Moisture. You could use it on there to see if it makes a oh, difference. Oh yeah, hey, hey, check it out. I've been, I've been using that Shea Moisture stuff every day on my, to wash my hair, to moisturize my face. Uh, I got the little face soap bar or whatever. I actually bought another one from the uh, from Walgreens because mine ran out. But hey, that stuff is legit. Isn't it the bomb? Yeah. Matter of fact, I need to get some more of that. Um, I got the lady from Walgreens. She's gonna call me when the facial 
uh, moisturizer comes in. They had it? You talking about the um, the, no, she, the shave don't. stuff? Or are they just going to order it? She ordered it for me and she said she'll give me a call once it comes in. Get out. I didn't know they could even Free do that. Free of charge. That's because they didn't awesome. have it. That is awesome. So that shea butter, hey, it's legit. So I'm telling y'all, you know, I need to check it out if I get a chance. Look, Shea, Shea Moisture, if you guys haven't seen my last makeup hey, haul, Shea is. Moisture sent a whole box of stuff. They sent me all uh, of the pieces of like the pieces of makeup that I couldn't get from the Shea Moisture line, mm -hmm. the makeup line, and they sent Juice their whole like shaving line with the moisturizers, oh, yeah, use, the tea tree oil, right, all that. I use a shaving cream and all that stuff. Man, all that stuff is legit, you know, just good for my skin. So I ain't got no complaints on my end. Yeah, like if you yeah. if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, because I don't know if a lot of you guys as husbands no or men or sons or whatever use that line, but um, I wasn't even really aware of it until they approached me with um, sending us some product, and it was after I had done, you know, you guys know I did that Shea Moisture review and um, you know purchased the products myself. They saw it and that's you know when they contacted me, but it was so sweet of them to send him some stuff. I sent him the entire line. And he loves every single thing. Like he's used every bit of it up, so it's been pretty cool. Can you hold on? Check it out. I'm gonna go to the Walgreens and try to find all the stuff you sent me. And I uh, just kind of reload on it because this my shit's almost out. But it's doing a good job with my shit, and I'll, I'll give you guys an update in two or three weeks about my uh, poison ivy scars. <laughs> Oh, the rash, the rash is cleared up. I'm good to go. The aloe vera gel, it cleared it all up for me. So, I am good to go. Monday night, and it's for, we're going, this is a Monday night's rotisserie night. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Sandy went to Sam's last week. Y'all saw her. She got about four rotisseries, which will hold us at least until Thursday or Friday of this week, which is good because now we know coming home every night, we got some food ready. All we gotta do is heat it up. Mm -hmm. And uh, press what? Two minutes in the microwave for this broccoli. Oops. Keep dropping shit. Yep. Go ahead and spill all over the floor so the dogs can lick it up and start coughing and sneezing. Hey, Simma. Simma down. How did you outside? It did great. Yeah. They didn't try to run off? No, no. Yeah, lately, Desi's been trying to run off every time I, I try to let them go in from outside. You know, I think two nights last week, he just took off. <laughs> Ran. Boom. So uh, we're trying to get better, you know, discipline in Desi. <laughs> Gizmo seems to be disciplined. He actually stops when I tell him to stop. Desi, at night, he kind of wants to do his own thing. So I'm going to uh, get with Desi this week and we're going to work on some things, all right? How are you going to work on Desi? What are you going to do with Desi? Uh, it's going to be between me and Desi. Between you and Desi? Let's just say he'll be obedient once it's all said and done. Well, look, I'm thinking we need to catch him to that class. We've been talking nah, about it forever. We need to do that. I got a little class I'm going to take him to. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll take care of him. Don't do nothing to my boy. He'll be an obedient, good old dog. Uh -huh. But yeah, you had to run down like forever the street and everything. Yeah, yeah. In the rain. In the rain, y'all. Yeah. So. And then I got worried because Juice was gone for a good minute and a half. I had no idea where the hell he was because, I, you know, he was outside with the dogs. And next minute I'm making dinner, I'm doing my thing. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you're taking a long time. And then I heard a little bit of rain outside. So I started yelling his name outside. A little bit I'm of rain? Juice, well, no, it was pitter patter. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't rain, rain. Where yet. I was outside, it was pouring down. It wasn't oh, a little okay, bit okay. of rain. Yeah, it, had, it hadn't. It, it, it was I went out down. there. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Oh, yeah. That's what it was like. Yeah. Put, some, put some seasoning on there? You know I did. Always. Right, Come on now. You got your skin that you like so much? Yeah. But oh, yeah, y'all, yeah, I went outside scared to death thinking that Jews got abducted because he was ghost. Like, my dogs were ghost. He was ghost. It freaked. I mean, when I say I went, then I freaked out. Y'all know I'm paranoid. So next thing you know, I get in the car and drive around. Now it's pouring outside. And I'm like, fuck, what the hell? Why could they have disappeared? You know what I mean? Turns out Desi ran his ass way away from the house. I was chasing him for yeah. a long time. He wouldn't stop. Well, he didn't have him on his leash because they're accustomed to just walking inside the house. No, right? I let him off his leash to go back yeah. inside and he ran back and then he just took off. Yeah, and he's black, so it makes it worse because it was kind of dark out. That just doesn't, it just, girl. It is what it is, y'all. The girl was nerve. It nerve. It is what it is. That's my baby. We ain't gonna have. That's him. why me and Desi gonna have some alone time this week, and we yeah, gonna I'm work gonna on some you. things. We got it. We got to work. He's on gonna be a good little dog from now on. 
He ain't got no choice plan. Yeah, he's gonna be a good little dog. Let's just say that. <laughs> this will be a closed session, by the way. So, yeah, it's closed no, session. This will be a closed session. Yeah. Here's yeah. your food, my love. Food was delicious, though. Look at that, man. Mm -hmm. Have you got any Kool Aid or anything? Nah, nigga. Well, I'll make some. I'll make some. Bet. Let's grub. It's, yep. it's late and I'm hungry. <laughs>